Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to offer my uh, crucial amendment that will help the five sovereign Chippewa tribes in my district, the Boys Fort, the Fond du Lac, the Grand Portage, the Leech Lake, and the Mille Lacs Band. Northern Minnesota tribes provide cultural perspective that enrich and inform my policy making. However, Indian country has endured a crisis unlike any other. Suicide among American Indian and Alaska Natives is a devastating epidemic, impacting the communities in my district and across our nation. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, American Indians and Alaska Natives have the highest rate of suicide of any ethnic group in the United States, and it's steadily been increasing since 2003. To this day, suicide is the second leading cause of death among Native youth between the ages of 15 and 24. Despite this startling trend, funding for Native American suicide prevention programs within the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration was level funded from last year. Level funding is not enough. We need these funds to strengthen community-driven and informed approaches to reduce suicide among Native populations. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, my amendment today nearly doubles funding for Native American suicide prevention programs. These crucial resources within SAMHSA will benefit Native American and Alaska Native youth everywhere. For example, the renowned Indian Health Services facility in Bemidji, Minnesota serves 34 tribes in the Midwest, covering my district and well beyond. With increased funding from this amendment, they would be able to provide more suicide and mental health services and outreach to our communities. Before I close, I would like to thank my partner in addressing this issue, the Dean of the House, Don Young, from the great state of Alaska. Mr. Chair, I urge support for my amendment and in turn support for ending the long-standing and devastating epidemic in Indian country that is suicide, and I yield back.